There's a new seatbelt law in place meant to protect our keiki. So what do parents need to know to keep their kids safe? Joining us this morning is Lisa Dow, an injury prevention coordinator and registered nurse from the Kapiolani Medical Center. Good morning, Lisa. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. Thank you for having me. Now, first off, what can you tell us about the new child passenger safety law that just went into effect? Sure, yeah, it just went into effect last week, and the changes in the law were proposed by Hawaii child passenger safety advocates based on research and best practice recommendations from the American Academy of Pediatrics and automobile safety experts, and this is to optimize uh, kid safety. So there were really three big points in the law. The first one is rear facing until the age of two, and uh, this is the safest direction for young, ch for young children because it protects their head, neck, and spine from uh, crash forces. Another point is the booster until age 10. Um, currently, it's up to age eight. So eight and above, you know, well, the past law was up to eight. So most children between 10 to 12 um, do not fit an adult seatbelt properly. You know, a lot of times it just rest on their neck or high up on their belly. But if, uh, if the seatbelt fits the child and the child is over four feet, nine inches, then the child is exempt from that requirement. Um, and then the other part about that law is the law also removed exemptions for not enough seatbelts in the vehicle that allow children to ride undaunted. And that just is um, unprotected for our children and, and no, no caring parent would purposely endanger their child. Now you talk about the increase in age to 10 years old. Why is this new law so important? You know, children in rear-facing seats are 71% less likely to be injured in a crash. And those who are in forward-facing um, are 54% safer. And so seatbelts are for adults. And children do not fit in them correctly, again, until they are somewhere between 10 to 12 or about 4 feet 9 inches. Um, and so if that seatbelt is not fitting them properly, they can, um, it can cause severe injuries such as in the abdomen area or in the, in the spine. Now, Lisa, how can parents tell if their child is properly secured in a car seat or seatbelt? So the, first of all, you want to make sure the car seat is installed properly and to follow all the instructions of the car seat manufacturer. The car seat shouldn't move more than an inch from side to side or front to back when pulled at the, uh, at the belt pathway. The, um, the, the, the harness should be snug where you cannot pinch any harness at the shoulder, so nice and snug. Um, the harness should come out of the back of the car seat for rear facing just below their shoulder, for forward facing just above their shoulder. Um, you want to use either the latch or the seatbelt, usually not both. And the child should be within the height and, height and weight guidelines for the uh, car seat. Now, Lisa, where can parents go to get a car seat safety check? Sure, they can call Kapiolani's call center or they can go on to hawaiipacifichealth.org. Um, and then also they can go to kipchawaii.org, that's KIPC, um, Kiki Injury Prevention Coalition, uh, to find an inspection station near them. All right, and we have uh, all that information on our website as well as k22.com. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us and explaining this new law because parents, a lot of them are concerned about this. Thank you for having me.